battle lines have been drawn as President Ruto and Rigeti Gashaga field takes a new turn. The members of parliament close to Rigeti Gashaga are saying that there is a plot to oster Rigeti Gashaga and that an impeachment motion is in the hands of the Kenya Kwanza leadership in the National Assembly and they are saying that the impeachment motion could be tabled as early or as soon as next week. And they are not taking any chances. They are saying that they are going to defend Rigeti Gashagwa until the last drop of their blood. There's an allegation that yesterday there was a clandestine night meeting that involved the members of parliament from ODM, a section of UDA who are allied to Rigeti Gashagwa, a section of WIPA um, members of parliament and independent members of parliament who converged and vowed that they are going to defend Rigedi Geshagwa because according to them, they read mischief and they feel that it is the president and his allies that are undermined, undermining Rigedi Geshagwa. A section of members of the National Assembly allied to Deputy President Rigedi Geshagwa are alleging a renewed bid to oust the Deputy President the MPs claim the Kenya Kwanzaa leadership in the August House is in receipt of the impeachment motion, which could be tabled as early as next week. And to visit Brian Mushiri with the details. This text message from a member of the National Assembly allied to Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa is perhaps a pointer towards the ongoings in the political scene. The message states, and I quote, over 50 MPs from UDA. ODM, WIPA and independent MPs met last night to stand with Rigi G against a planned impeachment rumors. End quote. However, those that supposedly attended the meeting did not confirm or deny their attendance. The real determinant ya impeachment ya Gashagwa is the Kenyan Wanjiko. Ambaya kona power ya kuweka kura, ya kuweka mutu ndani ama kumutuma nyumbani. As you can see, even the members of parliament like Gadoni or Mushomba have joined the bandwagon to protect Rigeti Gashagwa because they feel that there are no grounds to impeach Rigeti Gashagwa. Several things have been said that the, the, the deputy president is, under, is undermining his boss. They are saying that Rigeti Gashagwa contradicts William Ruto on matters development and that he does not articulate what the achievements and the progress that the government is making. They, they are giving examples that Rigedi Gashagwa, for example, was saying that, I remember it was in Kayole, and he told majorly the electorates from Mount Kenya that he was not part and parcel of the demolition process that took place after the floods. And of course, you all know that Rigedi Gashagwa of, of late has been saying that you can't continue hoodwinking Kenyans. They are saying that Rigeti Gashagwa has been boycotting Ruto events, while we know very well that this is not true. Now, if you look at it clearly, you will realize that what has angered William Ruto is the fact that Rigeti Gashagwa is uniting Mount Kenya. William Ruto still feels he should go to Mount Kenya without passing through any other leader. He wants to be the Mount Kenya kingpin. The truth is, Mount Kenya is rebelling because no amount of intimidation against Rigeti Gashagwa will reverse the situation as it is. They have seen William Ruto, they have realized he's dishonest, he's relaunching projects that were relaunched by Uru Kenyatta, all the development projects that he, he promised them are not being realized. The hustlers from Mount Kenya are realizing that they would win. So they are not going to be intimidated to start following William Samuel Ruto. And I know part of it is because of the broad-based government and there are counter accusations. People like Kimani Chung are saying that Rigeti Gashagwa's misbehavior prompted William Ruto to look for this broad-based government. But the Rigeti Gashagwa camp feels that they have been betrayed. I know Rigeti Gashagwa messed up. William Ruto gave him a, a question to Charles when he was talking about shareholders, when he was saying about talking about a trap in government, 
in state house and he, they, have, they have really been angered by the fact that William Ruto finally decided to bring in Raila Mulodinga after assuring them that he was not going to accept a handshake government. Now, be, be, be that as it may, ladies and gentlemen, I want to submit to you that it will be very wrong and politically immature to bring an impeachment motion against Gadi Shawa. Because William Ruto is doing this, if at all this is true, because he knows very well he's got the support of the members of parliament from the ODM. You know, there have been allegations and attempts to impeach Gadi, but they knew that they would not get the requisite number to impeach a deputy president. And I believe this will be the first time a deputy president has been impeached. During the old, in the old constitution, we understand that uh, you could easily kick out your deputy president, you appoint another. But in the, uh, the new dispensation, you cannot. I want to submit to you that this will be very wrong. And this is the reason why I believe. Number one, this is going to paint Raila Mulodinga as a person who is being used by William Samuel Ruto. And it is going to implicate Raila. Raila, as we speak today, is being accused of him helping William Ruto to steal from Kenyan electorates. Because their daddy deal has really implicated the ODM figures. Remember, OP and I is in the is at the very center of a Dani deal because there is a Dani energy and is defending it. The Adani uh, JKA or Saga is at the center of the finance ministry, treasury, where John Mbadi is, uh, is, is, is the boss. And they are going to defend it, they are going to sign that deal, and Raila cannot vindicate himself from this. Now, as if that is not enough, Raila is being used here to give the requisite number so that Gedi Geshego can be impeached. And you see, when you look at it very closely, you'll realize that it is William Ruto who is finishing Raila. Because he has set him up in this Adani deal, now he's being used to provide the ODM bambas so that they can impeach together the Gashagwa. I don't think Raila should get into the ruto Gashagwa war. But as it is, the moment the ODM members will help William Ruto to impeach Rigadi, then Raila will go on record. They will say, okay, we've always told you that Raila cannot be trusted. But others are saying that it is time for Raila to retaliate because who begged them to vote in Raila, but they refused. Instead, they went for William Samuel Ruto. So this is going to paint Raila in bad faith. Number two, we are going to look at a government that has got no priorities. If you ask me, is an impeachment against Rigeti Geshagwa a priority today? Already you've seen the lecturers, the, the, the WESU members, are, 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 are beginning their strike. The education system is, is, is rocked in some mess. We have the Adani deal, the cost of living, the cost of education, money being stolen and corruption everywhere. The, the, I, I, I read somewhere that the control of budget is complaining that she still feels that her life is in danger. When judge, uh, when judge, when Justice Mugambi ruled against the IG, his security details were were being removed in 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 in, in a, a very suspicious manner. There are a lot in the country that needs to be talked about. Yet we feel that impeaching a deputy president would be our priority. And I'm not defending Rigeti Keshaba, but I feel that William Ruto has got bigger fishes to fry than subjecting us to you know looking at an impeachment motion against Rigeti Keshaba, which is not a priority, if you ask me, and I don't know what you think. Number three, ladies and gentlemen, we are setting, we are setting a very bad precedent because we need to be very careful to ensure that in case you want to impeach a public officer, let the details or the reasons why you want to impeach that officer meet the threshold of what is entailed, what is entailed in the constitution. If you want to impeach a deputy president today, remember we have a future. We should be making laws or doing things that will stand the test of time. If we begin on a low note like this, then tomorrow we will be impeaching our deputy presidents anyhow. 
will be impeaching ministers and impeaching public officers. Let me ask you, what Uganda is doing and uh, compared to Mythical in Turin, who had messed the, the, agriculture, the, the, the agriculture sector by being in charge when fake fertilizer gotten uh, infiltrated the market. And they protected uh, they protected Lithica, Mythical in Turin. Now they are saying that they want to impeach Rigethi Gashagwa. All because they wants to unite Mount Kenya. I mean, we should be we should be very careful because tomorrow someone will look for a very flimsy reason and will table an impeachment motion against a public officer only because we have set that standard today. Let us, if you want to grow as a country, let us ensure that our laws are embedded in a standard that even the younger generation will emulate. Otherwise, we are destroying this country by playing politics in parliament. And parliamentarians must stand firm to ensure that this impeachment motion does not go through. Number four, William Ruto will be seen as a man who is using this as a diversionary tactic. So I've always seen, uh, sung this song. We have a lot, especially the big, the, 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 the elephant in the room, Sai, is the Adani deal. The biggest scandal that we, 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 we can compare to now cannot be compared to Goldenberg, cannot be compared to Anglulism. This is the biggest scandal that is looming, and they are so determined to signing it. Signing it despite the noise and the opposition that this deal is, is, is meeting from experts, financial experts, but they want to go, to, to go ahead with it. Now, what Ruto is doing is to ensure that we, he turns our attention from the Adani deal as they sign it, and they want us to start looking at their controversy, between, the controversy between himself and his deputy. By the time our eyes will open, by the time we come back after all this theatrics and drama, the identity shall have been signed, it shall have, it shall have taken off, and we'll realize that we are gullible. And this is the reason why I'm saying that I do not support the impeachment of Rigetti Gashagwa. If anything, William Root is on record. We have been informed that he was given Kithure Kindiki to become his running man. But for reasons that are best known to him, he picked Rigetti Gashagwa. Only two years down the line, he is now telling us that they are not reading from the same page. Let them play their politics. We don't want to be part and parcel of this mud-slinging kind of politics.